Now, we are told, I begin reading at verse 1, "...it came to pass on the eighth day that Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel, and he said unto Aaron, Take thee a young calf for a sin offering, a ram for a burnt offering without blemish, and offer them before the Lord." All of this is done at the commandment of God. Even the details were covered for the seven days. Now on the eighth day, Aaron was to begin his service as high priest. The eighth day was also the first day of the week. This is the day that Jesus came back from the dead, and Jesus entered into his office as priest after his death and resurrection. Now the writer to the Hebrews says that if he was on earth, he wouldn't be a priest, that it was not until he ascended into heaven. As Aaron entered into his office as high priest on the first day, his four sons were there as witnesses. And likewise, we have four gospels which bear witness to the fact of the death and resurrection of Christ. And we today have a perfect and complete priest. And being made perfect, that is complete, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. And we obey Him when we believe on Him. And we obey Him after we are believers when we attempt to do His will. That'll be consecration, friends. Consecration is when you and I come with empty hands to Christ and say to fill Him. Consecration is not take a little chip and put it on a fire, take a candle and burn it and let your little light shine. You've got no little light, friends. We're not lights until we're in Christ and we come with empty hands. And if he wants us to burn, then we're to burn. And if he wants us to go to Africa, then he'll send us to Africa. We need to be very careful today. These sweet little consecration services, frankly, make me sick. I've seen some of the meanest saints in the world get up and say the sweetest thing at a consecration service. And it's very emotional and very tender, but it sure is hypocritical. Oh, today that you and I belong to him as we should. Now we are told here in verse 3 and 4, And unto the children of Israel thou shalt speak, saying, Take ye a kid of the goats for a sin offering, calf and a lamb both of the first year without blemish, for a burnt offering also a bullock and a ram for peace offerings to sacrifice before the Lord and a meal offering mingled with oil for today the Lord will appear unto you. Now we have here then a sin offering, kid of the goats, a burnt offering, a calf and a lamb, and a peace offering, a bullock and a ram, and so on. And the Lord was to appear on that day. Now through the death of Christ to the resurrected high priest at God's right hand. That's the way to approach God today. And we have here a picture of the day when Christ shall come forth with his own, the church, to the nation Israel to institute the kingdom. What a picture you have here. But the people obey, and Moses assures them that the glory of the Lord shall appear unto them. Aaron offers a sin offering, and the ritual of the sin offering is followed in meticulous detail. The sin offering was made first. Why? Well, when the offerings were given at the first of the book of Leviticus, it was the burnt offering. The sin offerings come in last. Why? Well, there we're approaching it from God's viewpoint. Here we approach God from man's viewpoint. And my friend, you and I come as sinners, and that question has to be settled first. Then you have the burnt offering, And then you have the other offerings made here, and the ritual is followed as it's been given before. What a picture we have of him. It pleased the Lord to bruise him. He put him to grief when thou hast made his soul an offering for sin. And then Aaron offers the meal offering and the peace offerings according to the ritual. And then Aaron blesses the people. And the glory of the Lord appears. Verse 22, And Aaron lifted up his hand toward the people and blessed them and came down from offering of the sin offering and the burnt offering and the peace offering. And then we are told here, And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. There came a fire out from the Lord and consumed upon the altar the burnt offering and the fat, which when all the people saw, they shouted and fell on their faces. Christ now is entered into the holy places that's not made with hands, 
but he's entered into that which is true heaven itself to appear there for you and me today. Oh, my friend today, lay hold of this living Christ. What a wonderful, wonderful privilege we have today. 